in this week's episode of Working with Todoist. We talk about outcomes. Hello and welcome to a very, very sunny Seoul. And today we're coming from Ultra Career 2017. It's my annual music festival and it is fantastic to be here. Look at the weather, it's just amazing. And people are gathering here, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk to give you a really, really good tip on getting the right outcome in your day in Todoist. So, so that I can carry on and get partying as quickly as possible, let's get straight into this. Okay, so what I want to show you today is a new um, way of managing your outcomes for the day. Now you can actually use this for, uh, I, I actually had previously, if you, if you remember, I actually used to have here the big three. But what I found was was because that was a um, it was like a hidden project, if you like, because it was a drop down. It wasn't something that I allowed myself to look at, particularly if I was having a very busy day. And over the last few weeks, I have had many busy days. So I was looking at this and I've been watching quite a few videos from Tony Robbins and particularly his OPA system. And OPA stands for outcomes, purpose and action. And it occurred to me that actually what Tony Robbins was saying that each day, each week, each month, each year, you should have something that is your focused outcome. And that got me thinking and it made me realize that yes, what I needed to do was to actually allow myself that when I do my daily mini review, and I look at my next day's activities or next seven days activities, I can decide which tasks must be completed on that particular day. And I've been trying it out this week and I have to be perfectly honest, this works brilliantly. But, and the but here is, you need to make sure that you are super disciplined on this and you use it properly. It's very easy to add this kind of task to your daily list and hope you're going to get it. If you think it's going to be a hope that you're going to achieve it, then you're not using this right. When you use this system, this today's outcome, you can see I have it here at the top of my list, you must complete it today. Now, I would also recommend that you don't use this every day unless you have something that you want to accomplish every single day. But let me take you into it. What I've got here is I have, I'll show you what I've done here. I have um, a highlighted starter, today's outcome. I want to see that in the strongest possible terms. And for tomorrow, I have to buy a new Apple Pencil. I have very foolishly lost my Apple Pencil. I have gone all week looking in all the places that I might have lost it, but it must have just dropped out of my bag somewhere. It's gone. So tomorrow I need to buy a new Apple Pencil. That is on my list. It's flagged red. It's a type one project, a priority one task. And it comes up, as you can see here, um, today's outcome. I also have one, another one for tomorrow set up for post creating your successful life promo video. I have another promo video to share with you guys, which will come out tomorrow. And I'll put that down as tomorrow, today's outcome, because I really want to get that out tomorrow. And that's all I have at the moment in today's outcome. Also, I should point out that today being Sunday is always a full day with routines like my reviews and so on editing these videos so there's no today's outcome for today it's really as get as much of this stuff as i can do so i'm using this very very carefully now if i show you what i've actually done i've got here uh these are the ones that i've had so far this week uh today's outcome get all fes stuff up to date and complete which i did that was a thursday task 
Today's outcome was exercise, which I really must do on Friday, and I knew I might not be in the mood to do it on Friday, so I made it a today's outcome. Um, I also, on Thursday, had to work on the FES rebrand, which we've been working on with my wife, and on Saturday, I had Find Apple Pencil. So as you can see, I'm not overusing this, and I've been using it for a week. These are the things that I really wanted to get done last week. But it has been fantastic because I've never missed anything that's been on a today's outcome. So this, I should point out, has replaced my big three. So if you've watched that episode where I called it the big three that I wanted to complete that day, I found that wasn't working for me. It might be working for you, which is great. I wouldn't recommend you change it. But for me... I have this system now, which really, really works fantastically well. But again, I should stress, don't overuse this. This is something that you are going to use, maybe have just one today's outcome, no more than two or three. If you go beyond that, you're not using it properly. This is for work that you really, really are going to focus on and you are going to make sure you get done on that particular day. Now, one more thing, uh, well, two more things first. What I want to do is show you also that I've put this at the top of my uh, project file. Now, I'm not sure if this is the case, but I've always believed it to be the case that projects, after you've flagged things, it will then go into your project order. I want today's outcome at the top of my today list whenever I look at my today list in the morning. So it's flagged red, so that will take it to the top. By putting the project at the very top, it should come up as my number one task for the day. So if I go into my next seven days, what you'll see is, uh, if we go down to tomorrow, my today's outcome has come up right here, and they're both at the top. I will see them first thing in the morning when I check my today's list. Now, a couple of other things. I also, when I'm doing my review, and this came up the other day because it can get overwhelming in your list, I actually have um, a, um, a filter called Advancement 1. Basically what my Advancement does is it takes out all my routines. So if I look, if you're following my system of having your routines folder, what you've got is I've got three days, so it's the next three days, and the exclamation mark means no routines. I don't want my routines in this particular filter. So what I would do actually, I want to put that near the top um, because this is something that I do actually look at on a daily basis when I do my daily mini review. It shows me the next three days, including today, and then it can show me where I can put in today's outcome. Today's outcome is never going to be a routine because a routine is not going to improve my life. One more thing. What I've done is, and for those of you guys who don't know about this application, there is an application called uh, Text Expander. I use Text Expander a lot. I just want to show you what I have here. Uh, I have a number of Text Expander snippets, and I will probably cover this in a separate episode one day. But what I've done is, I've got my today's outcome, and I've set it up like this. So today's outcome is used with the exclamation marks gives it the bold p1 gives it the flag the the hash key shows the project and then the the percent in line that tells me tells it where to put the cursor so that's giving me all the the information so it's really really easy for me to add a task so if you look here i've got the keystrokes uh, comma opa which is fantastic for this um, so now if I go in and I create a task, so let me go into my inbox, we'll create a task, um, and all I have to do is comma OPA is going to bring everything up, and I can just then type in this task must be done yeah. today. This saves me so much time. So I can just add the task if we go now into my projects and you'll see today's outcome it is here and it's got all the the keys that i actually need it's flagged red it's in the project today's outcome and it's already bolded i will do an episode in the near future on text expander and what you can use it for in so many ways but specifically for 
maybe Evernote and Todoist. But for now, I just wanted to show you that because it is a really, really good trick. Anyway, hopefully that's cleared up. I apologize if you guys have been struggling with the big three project that I set up. I found it didn't work as well as I hoped. I've modified it a little bit here. Today's outcome has really, really worked well. But remember, you are going to have to be very disciplined how you use this because uh, if you start using it too much and you put too many things in there, it's not going to work. So keep it low, keep the number of tasks that you put in there, maybe one, possibly two a day, and you'll find that your productivity on the things that really matter will go through the roof. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to get keep up to date with all the videos that I produce each week. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.